It's time for some vlogs. It's time for some vlogs. Hello, Nico. Uh, I, I was planning to really go on to vlog about this one good. So, guys, I just finished giving a talk in the Philippine CCR uh, yes. RS. Uh, yeah, Philippine CCRS. So, this is from Mindanao and Visayas, guys. So, say hi to them. You know what? They're very good audience. They listen to me and they're really, you know, they're so um, humble in a. Na, di ba? Join us next time. <laughs> Thank you guys. Ah, uh, question. Question na na. Eh, basing nang moy gusto nga i clarify nang moy a specific thing that you want to to ask or for your. Uh... Hey guys, so I just uh, I was I, I'm done with my talk, and you watched that earlier. I just really talked about evangelization in the digital age, and it's a very tough topic to talk about because we're dealing with stuff that not a lot of people may be open to learning especially the older ones and I really believe that for the older ones for the ones that are 40 years old and above th the thing that they really need to have in order for them to really learn these things how to manage Millennials how to deal with them how to relate with them how to understand them they really need to have empathy to go to go to the territory or the mindset of the young and try to understand to empathize what they are going through and it is very this is very critical because the young need discipling they need to be discipled they need to know that somebody loves them that's the lord loves them so it's very critical that we also teach this and uh, you know i was up for it i because I'm also a millennial, I found out that I'm really millennial and I belong to that. I belong to that age. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I, I hope that you uh, also, you know, learn what you can and, and share what you can to, to help the millennials. He always wants to, he wants to hold it himself, right? Because you're a big boy, right? Wow, that's my son. Wow, <laughs> look at your same mood. Wow, cold, it's cold, baby. Hello, everybody, it's been a while since I vlogged and yeah. Hi, Luca. Guada is there at the back. Hi. He loves to be in the driver's seat. Say hi. Hi. He loves to be in the driver's seat. And he sometimes, no, not sometimes, he always really cries when we go. Yeah. <laughs> when we go to some place with him. Come on, can you tell them what, what you want? Can you tell them? Hmm? Uh, don't 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 play don't play with the don't play with the key please. <laughs> yeah, so this is Luca. He's gonna be turning two years old on November. So it's it's twenty eight. It's like roughly two and a half months, or more. <laughs> uh, almost three months, but I almost three months. So we're just so happy with his development, right, Anak? Oh, look at that. Look at <laughs> he likes to also uh, you also like to show off right <laughs> what's that oh that's why there are smudges on, on the in the window uh, because of your touching them he loves to like touch things right but most especially he loves to to be in this uh, in the driver's seat and uh, just play with the steering wheel, right, Nak? Do you want to drive now? Do you want to drive now? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. 
Canada. Yeah, did you say Canada? <laughs> did you just say Canada? No, no, don't don't play with that knife because it might get loosened. So basically, we just really try to talk to him when he's doing things we don't like him to do because it might be dangerous. Sometimes, of course, my voice has to go, you know, up a notch, few notches, <laughs> to be exact, so that he will he will sense that I'm not really happy anymore. But compared to before, like few months ago we were really losing our temper right love yeah. so now we're learning this to this is already a very big leap yeah big leap big improvement to how we were trying to handle his tantrum his crying before so if you're a parent and if you're just starting out uh, it really pays to just understand the, the the thing that really helped us understand what his tantrums were, uh, were all about was when we read an, an article about tantrums about handling tantrums just simple article we even forgot uh where we we read that but it gave us a perspective a child's perspective of tantrums and whoop, ooh, ooh, did you just press the horn baby Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. You have to press harder. Yeah, he's pressing harder. Oh, there. There. You, you press harder. Go harder. Press harder. There. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Yay. Love you. Knows how to beep, beep, na love. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels. <laughs> uh, ah, the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Come on, say it. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Yeah, see you guys. We're gonna eat our lunch at uh, 2 p.m. And no, no, 3 p.m. and we're going. See you later. Say bye bye. See you later. Somebody came to visit.
almost done, almost done. Almost done, almost done. Almost done, almost done, almost done enough. Careful when you climb, okay? Coming, coming near me. We are done.